Let's do a second example for the differential equation, 2x dot plus 5x equals 5 times the unit step, x of 0 equals 2. Following our uh, steps, we have the, uh, the uh, characteristic equation 2s plus 5 equals 0, which means s equals negative 5 halves, and uh, the time constant is negative 1 over s, and that's just going to be equal to 0.4. So we know that there's one exponential with a time constant of 0.4. The second step was to uh, look for the final value where we set the derivatives equal to 0. And when we do that, uh, we see that x has to be headed towards a final value of 1. The third step was just to note the initial condition. x of 0 is equal to 2. And it has to be pointing at the final value after one time constant. So what does that look like? Let me see if I can sketch this here. Uh, here's one time constant of 0.4. We have a final value of 1, and we have an initial condition of 2. We know that we need to be pointing at the final value with a straight line. And let me see if I can sketch the exponential where the idea is that at time of 0.4, we should be 63% of the distance. And in fact, we could compute the, what this would be. This would actually be 1.37 approximately because uh, the exponential, goes, if you thought of it going between 0 and 1, it would be at a value of 0.37. And then we're just adding 1 uh, to that number. So we have the time constant noted. We have 1.37. And we have the uh, general shape of the curve. So this is what we're looking for in any kind of sketch. We want to label the axes. We want to uh, denote what the time constant is, show the rough shape of the curve, and show the initial slope. 